So, <clears throat> this is my 2017 Surface Pro, or Surface Pro 5, realistically. It is the very base model with 4 gigs of RAM, an Intel Core M3, and 128 gigs of eMMC storage. Meaning, this is not a great computer. And I'm going to install Windows 7, 7, 11 on it, because why not? I'm going to be using this USB. Um, Alright, sure. I believe this would have been a Mac format USB before. Which would explain why I did that. Is it functional now? Not sure, we'll see. So I'm going to be using Rufus for this. Uh, Rufus is is just a tool that lets you write make like bootable USBs which is what I'm gonna do uh, so let's download here um, this is gonna take a bit because this is a slow computer um, I don't know what these are Windows 8.1 would be fun and I might do this later but uh, I'm gonna do Windows 11 I guess that's our only option, so I'll continue. Uh, I, I guess we're doing all this. Sure. I don't, I don't really. English United States, I guess. I'm not sure what the difference here is. Continue. X64, hit download. Put it on the desktop. Call it Win 11, save. And this is gonna take a little bit, so I will speed this up and return when it's done. So, our Windows 11 ISO is installed. Oh. Okay. Alright, not really, you know, sure what we did there. I already downloaded it, so it would be on the desktop. There we go. We want it to be MBR. Windows 11, file system, NTFS. I think this is all fine. All fine and good. What do these buttons do? Update policy. Language. Start. Um. Alright. There we go. This is what I wanted. These options will be able to let you make Windows 11 work on unsupported hardware, mostly with that top checkbox. So I'm going to check this off with requirement for an online Microsoft account like that. We'll make a local account. Disable data, disable BitLocker. Okay. I'm aware of that. And it is now making this drive This is going to take a while. Yeah. Uh, once again, I'll be back once it's done.
And with that, I have a bootable Windows 11 USB. Should be able to close out of this. I said close out of this. And now I'm going to shut down the computer. I don't know why I reached up there a couple times. And that color is not very pleasant. I thought it would be orange. Anyway, here's what you have to do. I'm in the I'm in the reflection. I'm looking at my phone. So you're gonna hold volume down, power the computer on, and I believe let go. Okay, it turns out I was doing it wrong. Volume down. Power and keep holding that down. Is that, is that is that what I wanted? Okay. Well, uh, this is Windows setup, and that was the Windows 11 little spinny thing, so I'm going to assume that this is setting up Windows 11. I hope this is a correct assumption. I don't want to have just messed up this computer. If anyone knows what that was in the top left corner, I'd uh, appreciate if you could uh, tell me what that was. All right, Microsoft, Microsoft. You can do an upgrade on this. That's actually kind of awesome. Hold on, let me focus the camera here. That would have been annoying for you, I bet. I'm sorry about that. That's a lot better, sorry. Um, I think we should install Windows only. device encryption settings maybe off yes please don't have that on okay after a good while of waiting device encryption is off and this should work should work again not again for once Really? Alright, so I take it that it's done whatever it was doing, and we're gonna try to install this again. Hold the volume down, power keep holding volume down. I think I let go of it accidentally a little bit. Nope. This will work. And there's the Windows 11 little loading icon. And we're going into Windows setup. English United States install now I accept we'll do this and primary I think it it is local disk I think this is the correct partition technically why did it why does it have half the free space as it did before I did this wait no it never had any more free space if I format no I'm not gonna do that
Okay. Um, and I guess we're installing Windows now. Uh, I will I'll be back once we're at the out of box experience. The proper Windows setup. This is going to take a very long time. So yeah, I'll return eventually. And here it is, Windows 11, in all of its sluggish glory. <laughs> like, these animations, this is all real time, are, uh, safe to say not looking amazing here. Okay, so we're going to have to investigate that. It couldn't connect to my Wi-Fi network. If worst comes to worst, I'll connect it to my, my phone's hotspot. But I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I have to end up doing that with almost all of my older devices. Um... Uh, yeah, anything that isn't from the last couple years, I have to use my phone's hotspot. This, um, iPad Air, whoa, it doesn't fit into frame. Yeah, I'm not showing my password. But it doesn't have Wi-Fi on right now because on the version of iOS 10 that I have it running, it won't connect to my home Wi-Fi. See, it's on, but I'm gonna make a video about this eventually. This iPad in itself is really quite interesting. My camera would not focus on it, by the way, um, before I put it away. Check this out. When the home screen was landscape for a little bit there, they had the clocks left aligned. Anyway, um. I have never really seen this screen because I've never actually set up Windows 11 but it reminds me of in Windows 10 when you're first setting it up um hi Cortana is getting things ready for you and here it is no Windows 11 now though for this video um so yeah that was a uh, Windows 11 installation.